everybody, it is Brooke. I am back, and today we're watching Buffy Season 5, Episode 3. Want to be open and honest with you guys. This is one of the files that was lost on my computer. I thought it would be saved, but they weren't able to save it. So, this will be a re-recording. Um, but I gave it a good amount of time between. Obviously, I remember what happens, but I don't remember all the little details. So, it'll be a little fresher for like a second watch. So, maybe I'll pick up on some new stuff. Uh, just so if you're coming here and you're like, I only want to watch the first time, I want to be honest with you so you're not like, why isn't she super surprised? But I'll share with you what I was feeling, uh, during the first recording. And, um, if you're new here and you're like, that was a lot of word vomit, hi, I'm Brooke, I'm a certified yapper. <laughs> and, um, if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, I gave it a little bit, yeah, on this one to come back and watch it because I was kind of, well, I was hoping they'd save the file because I had it edited and everything, but uh, life happens. Um, but I'm actually, as of recording this, I'm on, like, Buffy episode six or seven, so I know what happens after here. Uh, but I'm like, it just makes sense if you have been following my Buffyverse stuff that I have to repeat the episode that's about Xander. Of course I do. Of course. That, that's how it has to happen. Um, but I'm like, that, should, that just turns out exactly what I would expect. Um, <laughs> but going back into it, I'm still excited. I'm really enjoying the Buffyverse, and I don't want to miss an episode. I debated being like, do I just say it's a wash? But it's like, I like a completionist set. Uh, so it's got to be up there. Um, if you're new and you'd like to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. It's a free way to help the channel grow, as well as liking and commenting on videos. If you would like to financially help support this project with me, uh, you can do so on Patreon. It's linked in the description. Uh, the tiers are really affordable, in my opinion. Uh, I have a $2 tier and a $5 tier. Um, $2 gets you early access um, to all the edited reactions early, uh, and then a $5 tier gets you access to uncut reactions, bonus reactions that are, are never going to be on YouTube as far as I'm concerned right now. They're Patreon exclusives, um, and like, extra, maybe some extra videos, more videos in the future, but every video that comes on YouTube will be on Patreon early. Um, so it's kind of worth it over there. Um, and I'm really into the Buffyverse, so if you're like, I don't know, it's been angel heavy so far, we're following the Slay Alive guide, um, some weeks on YouTube it may only be angel, but there's Buffy over on Patreon, so like, if you need to get your itch scratched, that's where you can do it, um... I am excited to rewatch this episode with you guys. I joke that it's about Xander, but there's a little more than just him in it. Uh, and it is an interesting concept. And I, I, it sucks that I lost my reaction to the twist reveal, but I'm excited to like pick it apart a bit and be like, okay, maybe I didn't notice this before. Um, I definitely don't know if I noticed that skull on the side table before. Maybe that's like one of Anya's old victims. <laughs> I don't know. But let's dive in, get through this. Uh, and we will be back, uh, with never-before-seen reactions after this. This is the only Buffy one I lost, and I didn't lose any Angel, so let's go. I wish I had something food-like to offer you guys, but the hot plate's out of commission. We think the cat peed on it. Mm. I think it's uh, criminal yeah, we've right. never Who's seen the, the cat. Huh. Guess the folks are back. Buffy, you've been and to so hell. So it's very early in the they morning, one bedroom, so right? please excuse my blueness. Hey, Buffy, how's that book? Full of zippy dates and zesty names? I'm fine. Fighting. <laughs> Fighting. If you really want, we can fight you as well. Mmm. Mmm. That feels good. Oh, no. Sir. Ow! That one's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, give me a break. <laughs> now that's how we watch movies. This is all wrong. See, first you would get the big guy, like a flying kick. <laughs> Cinder, are you okay? Like. Anyway, I mean, you know, you can't blame me for being critical. The cauldron? 
Who uses a cauldron anymore? This opening scene is still awkward, but I love this cut. <laughs> also, his makeup, iconic. He would have so much fun at Global. The death of the Slayer. Really? I won't. Hey, this we're just looking. Apartment hunting scene. But you have references. Is no, I have Albert, which is me doing an important voice. Xander Harris? Uh, no, Riley, Finn. Uh, this is Xander. Hey. Ah. I brought my friends. I see. And that's the bedroom. This is fucking crazy. You Guys, don't you live can't here. Your bedroom. Bonk them each with the horny okay, stick. Point. The total's at the bottom of the sheet there. He'll take yeah, it. Yeah, it's expensive. We'll get the furniture here. He's been living in his drunken parents' basement. Oh, we like the ceiling fan. Yes. It's very, you know, kind of old south. Hey. But without the unpleasant slavery associations. Construction job. I'm still confused on how Anya affords where and she lives. Way, you do have your own place. So when I want to visit you, I have to be in that awful basement? Not Why? Forever. Don't just, they you know, just move in bad. together? Which just went, Xander. Because right now, things are looking pretty undegathered. Is my arm hurt? It's and I'm cringe. Tired, and I don't really feel like taking it's a tour of me out. I was stressed out have. the first time. Yeah, that's why I was like, why are we looking at an apartment you can't afford? Brilliant. I do still think this was a good decision for his story arc. The Slayer is Hello. Oh, I said, I don't give a fuck. No, he is a grown man. You do not concern me. Well, at least you don't concern him. How badly did you hurt him? Well, hurt, um... I think he just not. annoyed him a bit. <laughs> well, I'm sure he was startled. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'd imagine it gave him uh, rather a turn. So you bought the magic shop and you were attacked before it opened. Who's up for a swing and course? Yeah, it is a bit cursed. Oh, this place does seem kind of dangerous. They're referring to the fact that he does not fight barehanded. He uses tools, devices. Oh, he's also supposed to be very focused. And since he mentioned the Slayer, I think we know what the focus is. Oh, factory. No offense to Riley, but like, well, I guess we're off yeah, the factory. I hate that place. At this point, I feel like I'm we're joking. just waiting for the man to leave. He smelled. Right? But he was very, um... Smell like trash. Distinctive. Which, like, damn, bro. The city dump. It's Spike! What are you doing here, Spike? Hanging out. Oh, there's a nice lady vampire who set up a charming tea room over the next pile of crap. Hanging off. Deep voice. You mean a great tall, roby thing like that one? You think like, that guy? <laughs> it's backed into trash, Xander. Hey, you okay? He's gone. Second Xander. Now at this point, I was convinced. When I first watched it, I was convinced that the Xander they just took home was the demon somehow. I don't know why he's uh -huh. using a payphone. But see, I'm sort of having you know where they live. Day. Oh, I found a quarter. I found a quarter. Well, ma'am, for me, it is worth getting excited There's about. just a sticker that says red meat on it? Well, I mean, come on. You look at them and tell me which one you think uh, is possessed by a demon. But he also did that when he was full on Xander in that one episode with the bomb in the high school. So I'm like, eh. Another demon. It does <coughs> me. <coughs> I feel like you're supposed to hate Dawn, and then Sharon I'm like, yeah, but she's right. I don't like her. In her boyfriend's tongue. I don't like Go away, them Dawn. together. I'm not in your room. Very posh. My man thinks he is rocking that split eyebrow. He really do. Yep. Sorry, Spike. You were neutered, and now you're part of the show group. <laughs> Talking to all the guys today. The job's winding down. Okay. Right 
Welcome to payback, Mr. Evil Plan Face Dealer. You take my life, you get my being fired absolutely free. He is not really wearing appropriate clothes for that job, but... How long you work at Harris, is that right? I knew they were gonna notice that. I have to tell you, that's surprising. Because your work here has been first rate. It's more responsibility, but the pay is better. That would be great. A promotion, but I... I mean, he didn't... But you earned it, the two of you together. I really didn't think you'd be back. Mr. Harris? Yeah, right. I'm sure you'll like the building. I think someone said you're currently in your parents' basement? Right. Please, call me. I am... Um, I'm leaving my home number here. She's coming on to him. Anytime. Like, I feel like she'd walk out in the hallway with some, like, trash. I said, yeah, Anya, how would they even know Anya's phone number, but not know Look, how know long he mad. worked? But then she could just get the apartment. Yeah! <laughs> Raiden. No, no. He looked exactly like me. Yeah, he also went to Buffy. Except he actually we went to her person it, and didn't call her on a fucking phone. Her. Whatever stole your face, it has to deal with the Slayer now. I don't know if I would believe that, Xander. Just listen. It's me, Xander. Yes. Okay. And I can this um, was a good decision. Okay. And then real fire trucks came. And for years I thought you set the fire for me. And if you did, you could tell me. That would be fucking crazy. Xander, okay. stop dancing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, uh -huh. what? She doesn't know to think Xander. it's not you. She Xander, doesn't know there up. are Why two. Why wouldn't I think you were Xander? Oh. Huh. What the fuck? Woke up this morning. Uh uh We walked you home last night, remember? You walked? Obviously not. Well, it even got to Buffy and Giles and Riley. It's over there right now and they have no idea. What's intriguing me is that there are a number of demons with the ability to mimic a simple form. The demon with the creepy stick thing. Crazy behavior from them. Toth. It's gotta be. And he hit Xander with that blast and somehow it allowed him to take Xander's form. It's an evil robot constructed from evil parts that look like me designed like, to do evil. Can you blame me for thinking this was mm -hmm. the real Xander? Or it's Toth. Or it's Toth. Uh, let's just say that I wouldn't want to run uh -huh. into you. Like, Confusion. Good thinking. When you kill this thing, you'd better make sure you got the one who's actually a demon. Whatever. Sandy, Whiny. you sound a little... You have to help me figure this out, you know. Yeah, they helped I'm when... Just... Another great humiliation. That house was haunted. And this time so I guess that was... This demon is, like, taking uh, my life. Yeah. Everyone's treating him... Everyone's treating him like a grown-up. Sandy, you, got, no. you need both... You, uh, you're just tired of or whatever. Soggy. That's why it seems so hard. You can't let him just take your whole existence. I think we um, have an obsession with she won't know. achieving you things just, in life. Like, you have to have the best no, job and the most no money way. and the blah, blah, no blah. Way. He can take and I'm like, he can't have her. Like, I need her. I don't think there really? is a point to it like now. that. Like, I think you're just supposed Figure to live. And if you're happy ridiculous. and enjoying it, like, good for you. At the apartment. You know the one. Nine o'clock. Oh. Trust me. It's all for you. Okay, but I was convinced it was this demon, like, trying to separate them. I mean, what happens next in our lives? When do we get a car? I don't have time I just need to let these things happen. <laughs> There's no hurry. Yes, there is. There's a hurry, Xander. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. This is about this. Do you have we a friend who didn't tell me spoilers, but she said in her opinion, and now you're gonna age she feels life. like Xander is the nerdy self-insert of the show creator. That and I'm like, terrifying. I can kind of see that. 
I'm going to get old. And you can't promise you'll I mean, be with me when I'm wrinkly. And my teeth are artificial old, and sweetie. stuck into my wrinkly mouth with an adhesive. I promise you, Anya. You're very soon you won't be thinking about getting older. See? That was like terrifying. Was he gonna kill her? But it's like not. Get out. It's like pretty little liars here. all over again. It's me. Except one it's of them demon. doesn't have a horrible British accent. No! I would just assume the messy one was it? Xander, but she's like, this he one's nice. Away. He came to me. I, I mean, Xander did. And he's in terrible shape. We need to help him. He came to us, too. No. We each had a Xander. Xander, and he needs us. Oh, dear Lord. Buffy. Uh, he's like, hello. He seemed a little. He seemed kind of forceful. It, um, I was sure. He's some robot. What? If he had been no. right about the robot, no, though. Um, the, the rod device. It's, it's called a Perula Gemina. It splits one person into half, distilling personality traits into two separate bodies. That belongs to the, the Slayer alone. That would have been cool strength, to see, the, though. Uh, the, the speed, the heritage. But and I guess we've kind Zander, of seen that before. Like when Buffy was overpowered, we saw place. that. But the two halves can't exist without each other. Kill the weaker Buffy half, and the Slayer half dies. So the same goes for the Xanders. Yeah. The robot idea eyes. is crazy, but would be. Can you see it's me? But I guess it's not that crazy in this show. Joyce did a robot. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm thinking less. Gun. Riley, do you wish? No. You could have Buffy Buffy. I have Buffy Buffy. Being yeah, a part me. Of who you are, I you think thinking I don't get that, but she doesn't just, realize that it's still know, like I'm part of what he fell in love with. He doesn't know Bree Slayer Buffy. You think she watched Brink when it came out? Oh, we better get there soon. Go! I have to kill the demon bot. I was so sure Anya was getting shot. Anya, get out of the way. Xander, you own a gun. Xander. I'm not surprised at all. Holding Xander, give it to me. The things Anya has seen in her life. Thank you. We can't kill each other. I mean, well, you could, but it'd be really bad. No way. I think that's gonna do it. Eleven and a half. Wrong. Oh, but see. No. Um, you know. Uh, Super even 50 50. Good night vision, stuff like that. Oh, but he has a thing. Look. It's a nickel someone flattened on the railroad track. I found it on the construction site. I thought it was cool. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Washington's still there, but he's all smooshy. And he may be Jefferson. Idiot. Okay. Isn't anyone going to tell me why there are two Xander? Pick up the little gun pieces. He looks like he should be clubbing, though, on Halloween. Hey, I just made a small cleaning deposit. Go, Buffy, go. Ow. Again. And admire, ladies. Also, oh, how if he got two of the same the outfits? Same one right there. It's all double. Psychologically, this is fascinating. Doesn't it make everyone want to lock them in separate rooms and do experiments on them? No, you're just part of the government. Fingerprints. Well, maybe we shouldn't do this reintegration thing right away. See, um, I can take the boys home and, you know, we can all have sex together. And it would be very confusing. Uh, uh, it would be uh, very confusing. Candles. Also, we should continue to pretend we heard none of the disturbing sex talks. Charles is yeah. like, why is this happening near me? And hey, how about that lady, huh? The apartment manager? You want to uh, die? Is it when she called me Mister? <laughs> We're ready. Well, what do we do if it doesn't work? Hey, so. Kill us both, Spock. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of the same now. I just have to break it. You two okay. stand right here. Is that, is that that's here a possibility? Go. Brace yourselves. Let the spell be ended. Oh. See, and the dirty one is like Space Sander. At least you still get the cool apartment. I don't know. At first, it's just a place. And 
Oh, I see you've joined the not sling wearing crowd. Yes, I'm feeling better, and I anticipate many years before my death. Accepting oh, disease like, or airbag. Congratulations. That sounds nice. Which you cannot have. She's like. I just what? thought you could help carry a little. Me. Buffy has super strength. Why don't we just load her up like one of those little horses? Anya, you two have your friction, but she digs the whole package. It's obvious. I Still, I do envy you sometimes. Part. Buffy's like nobody else in the world. When I'm with her, it's like it's like I'm split. I was too. like, that's very sweet, Riley. She's just on fire, but she doesn't love me. This was crazy out of nowhere, and I was like, huh? I'm just saying. No. Still a fun episode. Interesting to rewatch it. And yeah, there are more moments where you're like, oh, they really do both have knowledge that only Xander would have. But it's like, again, one of those things where you're like, yeah, but you can assume maybe the demon stole some memories. Like, I definitely was leaning towards crazy, like, bad at life Xander being regular Xander because that's what we mostly see. Uh, it's nice to see that he does have some serious in there, but it seems to be buried way, way deep down. Um, but I think him and Anya are cute. Uh, I, this was the episode where I was like, oh, Riley isn't gonna make it through this season. Like, he might live, but I don't think their relationship will make it through the season. Uh, I continue to feel that way, despite them still being together, why I am in the recording, um, process now. Um... I was waiting to see how it all blows up. I don't know. Maybe Riley doesn't leave till the end of the season. It just it feels like the relationship is heading to a not so good space. Even when they like fix things for good, I'm like, eh, there's problems here. Um, and I think he's gonna go back to the government. That is my guess right now. Um, but very interesting. I was like. The gun was interesting. Um, I guess it's more for the dramatic effect, but I definitely am like, oh, you have a gun in a scene. The gun should go off because that is the dramatic tension. But maybe they thought they were trying to subvert expectations, but really it was just kind of oh, a little anticlimactic. Oh, through this episode. We also got very little of Spike. I don't. I don't even think I remembered him being in this episode. We just get him at the dump and then him making the weird Buffy statue. And I'm just like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> Congrats on being a fucking weirdo. Um, but I am excited to see you guys' reactions to the next couple of episodes I've recorded. Um, I hope you are enjoying. If you want to make sure you never miss a Buffyverse upload, you can subscribe. We're getting really close to 500 subs. We're about... 22 away or 20 away something like that uh so if you're new here please subscribe help us hit 500 and i hope i will see you next time